Guys, what I wanted to do in this video is actually do an unboxing of a pistol that I've been wanting to get for a while. The TSOS 1911 Raider. Now, this gun is not new. This is one that I happened to find in a pawn shop recently. But I thought that I would take a minute in this video just to show you the gun and talk to you a bit about what you can find on the used market and save yourself a lot of money. This gun, of course, being a T-Sauce, it comes in this nice plastic case. Uh, even though this is a used firearm, the uh, let's just go ahead and show you everything here. What we have, of course, is the books. There again, guys, this is used. Still got all the paperwork, all the books, the manual, all that kind of stuff, the case. Still got your cleaning supplies, cleaning rod, all that good stuff. Put it all back together. Uh, uh, of course, here is the chamber flag that came with it originally. Also has the lock, which will never be used again. And of course, you get two magazines. Your Metgar mag for the 1911. I'm sure that you guys have seen several of my videos. You know that these are a pretty decent 1911 magazine. Now, let's look at the T-Sauce itself. Okay, drop the mag. Again, another car mag. Lock it open. Nothing in magazine, nothing in the chamber. Okay, here it is. Let's just close this up. Take a close look at this. This firearm is used. However, it has very slightly used, if any at all. Did talk to the guy. Uh, one of the guys that was there uh, found this at a local pawn shop, or I should say a not a semi-local pawn shop. Uh, and, you know, one of the guys that was there, actually the one that had traded for it, it was someone that he knew, and it has not a lot of rounds through it. So, I first looked at it, I was thinking that it was a, new, a used firearm until I saw the price they had on it. And then after I saw the price, I asked the guy, was it they were used and he said that it was used so it followed me home okay this gun is modeled after the colt m45a1 which was the gun carried by the marines it was the last 1911 carried by the marines and of course this was modeled after it comes with the g10 grips very nice grip comes with a novak style sight Three dot sight that you can see there. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus a little better on that front sight post. Focus. It's not wanting to cooperate with me. But anyways, you get the idea. The fit and finish on this, of course, it is a T-Sauce. I am a fan of the T-Sauce 1911s. I have a few of them now. As some of you guys who have been a follower of my channel know, uh, this is a firearm company that I think is making some very good quality 1911. You can see here the slide stop slash takedown lever or whatever. It's not completely flush. It is beveled slightly. That's just one of those detailed things that you'll see. Instead of it just being straight through and sticking out, there is a little bit of bevel there. It does come with a Picatinny rail for mounting lights, things like that. Front slide serrations, skeletonized hammer, beaver tail, ambi safety, that ambi safety, very positive, and of course, standard trigger. Let's test that trigger. Okay, just a little bit of take up. There's the wall. Not bad, not bad. Action, reset, about right there. This gun is still stiff. You know, maybe used, but it is still very stiff. I'm going to demonstrate how you would break down one of these for cleaning. And that way we can get a look at the internals to see what kind of wear is on the firearm. Of course, first step is to make sure that it is unloaded, which we've already done several times. Okay, I'm going to engage the safety on the 1911. Okay, have that engaged. And of course, this is going to be a test right here. Okay, this was designed for the military, but is it as capable of being taken down with your hands as anything? Okay, as you can see there, we've got the recoil spring out. Come out fairly easy. Some of the bushings on 1911s can be very stiff. You know, I've got one of my Kimbers that it is extremely difficult to get apart. So now I'm going to disengage that safety. I'm going to slide back to that little notch, get that lined up just right. 
and then push from the back side. Okay, let's push this through. Okay, just like that. There is my slide stop. There is the guide rod. Uh, and there again, it's the GI style guide rod. There is some oil on it. I'm gonna rotate the barrel bushing the opposite direction and pull it out of the slide. Okay guys, you're seeing this for the first time with me. And you can see here, as far as the amount of wear, you know, there's not a lot of wear on this gun. It has been shot. That's obvious. I'm just kind of inspecting it along with uh, with you guys. That's what I'm doing here. Just want to make sure that everything is right. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, it has been shot some, but not much. Very obvious that this firearm has been taken care of. Look at the barrel bushing. Okay, I don't see any issues there on it. The barrel itself. Very nice, the locking lugs. The slide. And I figure, you know guys, if you are watching this video, you're probably someone that is interested in the TSOS 1911 Raider or is 1911s in general. So hopefully you guys are still with me. Now what we're going to do is just go ahead and slide it back together. I'm going to put the barrel bushing down. And just to show you guys, this gun is clean. You know, uh, there is nothing in the gun. I have nothing on my hands. It is a little bit oily, so it was taken care of. Now the barrel bushing, for those of you guys who might not be familiar with the 1911s, you will rotate them. You know, put one in, you'll rotate it one, di one direction, counterclockwise, basically over to the left if you're facing it. Then you're going to rotate it the opposite to get it back together. Okay, I'm going to set the guide rod in. I'm going to go ahead and take the spring, just to help hold that guide rod in place, and set it into position like that. Now, you see the link here? Got to make sure that it gets into the right spot. Always leave it forward ever so slightly. Take my frame and holding the slide upside down and I am going to slide the slide and frame back together. I want to watch through that opening right there for that link and you can see we're pretty much there. And another thing this is doing, guys, is a firearm that was designed for military use. Obviously, the military needs to be able to service this firearm in the field. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to see if I have the ability to take it down and put it back together without using any tools. Okay, and just bear with me a second. Trying to get that link right where it needs to be okay now just like that we're going to line up that small notch right there with that opening okay don't get an idiot scratch on your gun even though this is used I'm going to show you something and that's why I mentioned use firearm there's no idiot scratch on it and I want to keep it that way. So, I'm going to rotate this around, get it lined up, make sure that I get the slide in just the right position. And I'm trying to do this, guys. I'm actually using my camera uh, as I'm doing this. Now, one thing that I'll do, I'll take my hand, take my thumb to hold that in place and to guide it and push it straight in until it clicks into place just like that okay now the recoil spring here is the gi button i'm going to set it back into place with my thumb pointed away from you guys uh, one thing that you want to do to help you to save you some trouble engage that safety that way that slide will be locked into position okay now I'm going to 
compress that spring, push it down. I want to turn that bushing slightly, just enough to catch that button. You see it just like that. Take the tip of my finger, depress it a little more, rotate it back into position. You can see we got it just about there. And now we are clicked into place. We're going to check everything, okay? Functions fine. Okay, not bad guys, not bad. Again, if you look on the used market, you can find some very nice firearms. Don't turn your nose up at them, guys. Very glad to have this. I have been wanting one of these for a while to add to my 1911 collection. And I look forward to getting it out to the range, and I will be bringing you guys along. But guys, let me know what you think about the TSOS 1911A1 Raider down in the comments below. Or, I'm sorry, the whatever the number is, guys. Let me know. Uh, I know there is a specific name for these since... They came out onto the market. But guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Check out all the links down in the description below. Check out uh, my website at boomsticktactical.com. Share the video. Leave me a comment down below. And we'll see you next time.